And so we want to remember that when we're doing a launch, there needs to be a runway time, a period of time that is dedicated to just getting people primed, just getting people excited, building some anticipation, getting some curiosity, like, ooh, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to hear more details. I'm so freaking pumped about this. I can't wait. Number two, my next top tip, guys, to have a successful group program launch every single time, every time, is you've got to build anticipation. You need to build anticipation. And here's the thing. I actually teach in my mastermind, we talk about your runway. It's an anticipation runway, and it happens before you launch, right? You need to think about, I don't know how many of you use like Verizon, but I'll use that. That's my phone, my cell phone company. I'll use it as an example, but you can apply this to anything. When Verizon came out with a new iPhone, right? When Verizon came out with a new iPhone, they were actually doing like a sale and a promotion for about two or three months before the phone was available. So they were like letting everybody know, awesome show. They were letting everyone know like, hey, this phone is coming out. Oh my God, here's the features. Oh my God, this is what it's going to look like. Holy this, holy that. And they spent months like building anticipation and letting people know this is coming. Getting people freaking so excited. People were like, literally like, can I buy early? Can I buy early? They were so excited when Verizon finally opened up and said, if you want to buy your phone early so that you can, you know, be guaranteed you're going to get one of these brand new phones, click this link and, and go ahead, right? And so before the phone ever came out, the whole world knew it was coming. Now you don't need to spend months but you do need a runway. You do need time. One mistake I see coaches make literally every time they come to me is they're like, I did not get sales from my launch. I have really poor engagement. I had really low show up and I didn't even get sales. Or maybe I got like one or something, but like, what is going on with my launch? And when we look at their numbers, I'm like, how many people did you get to register? Oh, well, we had like 50 people, 50 people for a launch. That, that's like, that's like opening a store, a brick and mortar on the side of, of like outside. That's like opening a brick and mortar building and getting one customer who shows up. That's equal to the same thing. There's nowhere near enough people registered to get a sale out of 50 people. Like there, there's like that you didn't give yourself enough time. And I'm like, how long did you promote this workshop? Two weeks. How many times each week? A couple times. That is not enough. That is not enough. There's so many people online right now that like less than 2% of your audience sees a single piece of content you put out. You might feel like you're promoting a lot. I know like when we do our launches, we're sending multiple emails, sometimes every day, but definitely an email every day, definitely posts multiple times a day. Like we are promoting, we are in launch, right? And we are creating a buzz around our launch. And so it feels to us like, whoo, we have a lot going out, right? Like, oh my God, all the emails. Oh my God, all the things. But like at the end of the day, when you really look at the statistics and you look at the data, there's not that many people that actually saw the content. There's not that many people that saw any of it. Some, most of your people didn't even see a single one. So it might feel like a lot to you and you might have all this these thoughts people tell us all the time, oh, I don't want to bother people. If you feel like you're bothering people with your work, then you don't really believe in your work very much. Because when I don't tell people every day, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday, that I have offers, I feel like I'm doing a disservice because I feel like the world needs to know that I got these solutions. And so if you don't, if you feel like you're bothering people, then you're not really in love with your work, right? Because if you really loved and believed in the work that you did, you would believe it's important for people to know about it. And if you're going to do a launch, you would make it very buzzworthy, right? You would want the whole world to know that you've got this solution and this awesome thing coming up. And if you feel anything other than that, there's, again, there's something that's not in alignment for you. And so we want to remember that when we're doing a launch, there needs to be a runway time, a period of time that is dedicated to just getting people primed, just getting people excited, 
build in some anticipation, get in some curiosity, like, ooh, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to hear more details. I'm so freaking pumped about this. I can't wait, right? And you want to be really building some buzz around this, and you want to be able to spend enough time getting enough people registered. A lot of you guys don't have enough people inside your launch to really produce sales or conversions on the other side of it. And then that's one reason that sales might not happen alongside with number one, right? Which was the, the one off the one solution in your offer. You might not effectively communicate that very well, but you want to make sure that you're really thinking, okay, how much time do I need to get enough registrants so that I have enough conversions in the end? And then you need to give yourself time to do that, right? And then you also want to make sure that you have time to prime people before you start to, to build your list, right? So the way that we do it and how I teach my clients, we'll do one month of like content that is busting the myths that people think about group coaching, shifting your perspective on what you think about group coaching, and touching on objections that you have around group coaching. And we'll talk about the resistance that you have around group coaching. You guys are getting it, right? Group coaching, group coaching, group coaching. So anyway, we will spend one month priming the mindset of our audience and weeding out people that are not interested and pulling forward the people that are like, ooh, tell me more. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh, I love this, right? We only care about talking to the people who want group coaching. Other than that, bye. You, no interest, right? Like it's we're not for you. And so when we put out content and we we know we have a launch coming up and we know that we want to build you know hundreds of people for that launch and we want hundreds of people to register we're not just going to go be like hey everybody we have a workshop coming up sign up like no one's going to do that we have to spend about we spend about 30 days of just content we're not even promoting the workshop we're not telling anybody about our offer all we're doing is putting out content that is shifting perspectives, it's preventing objections, or it's going to help people move through those. It's shifting people's perspective, it's getting people on our side with group coaching, wanting to know more, and it's getting people primed and excited. We do that for 30 days. And then we head into our, our four week, which is another 30 day launch runway. And the launch runway is where we spend four weeks doing absolutely nothing except building registrations and building a two-way conversation with the people that register, every single person that registers. And that's all we're doing during that four weeks. And that's our runway. Now, you might think that seems like a lot, but you're, you need three, four, 500 plus people to join your workshop to get you know, 10, 15 sales out of it depending on all the things, the fact, the different variables, right? And the price of your offer and all that stuff. So you've got to give yourself time to get those people. And if you already have them, you've got to make sure they're nurtured and primed. And, and if you think the month of content is a lot, you're already doing that anyway. You're just being more strategic with the type of content you put out, which you're already creating content every day, every week anyway. So that's not really a big deal. We're just shifting the type of content we put out to make sure it is priming people for the work, the pre-launch. Make sense? So you've got to have an anticipation runway. It's very strategic. And, and you just got to follow this every single time. But a lot of the coaches that come to us, it's like you, you're not doing these things. And this is why you're not seeing that it's worth launching. It's worth launching when you close six figures. We do a six-figure launch every time we do a launch. And we can do that with a really small, intimate audience because we go so deep with them, but it's because we have a strategy and we follow it every single time. And we give ourselves the time and the space to properly do the things that create conversions inside of a launch. And a lot of coaches are not doing those things and that's why they're not getting the results. And it's not the launching that doesn't work. It is the person doing the launching that doesn't know what they're doing. 